Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you the song Oh Holy Night. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then afterwards I'm going to break it down and explain it for you in more detail. So make sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till He appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, a weary soul rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angel voice. Alright, so we're going to be in the key of G for this song. We're going to be using the G chord, the C add 9 chord, which we want to make sure to start strumming on the A string and not play that low E string. We can use our thumb and mute it if we want to help. Then we have a D major. For that one, we want to start strumming on the D string and not play the E or A string for that D. Then we have a B minor bar chord and an F sharp minor bar chord. A quick tip for bar chords, you want to make sure that you're playing really close to this metal bar. Um, you know, if we're supposed to be barring this second fret, then I'm going to put my finger almost on top of that metal bar, and I'm going to kind of press with the side of my finger, because that is the bonier part of my finger, and I can get more pressure down than I can with the softer, cushier side of my finger. When we get to the chorus, we have the E minor 7, We have a B minor again, but this time I'm using a different variation. I'm using uh, this B minor 7 variation, which I can use it here because it's surrounded by the E minor 7 and uh, the A minor here. Okay, so I can use this particular B minor variation because of what's around it. It makes sense. Before, I couldn't use it because we were going from B minor to F sharp minor, um, and using this B minor variation uh, wouldn't sound right in, when it's surrounded by that F sharp minor. But by far, this B minor 7 here is a lot easier to play. For strumming, we're going to be using the inverse finger picking pattern, which is a six beat finger picking pattern. So we're going to have six beats within the pattern before the pattern repeats again. And we're going to divide that up into two. So we're going to cut that in half. And for the first three beats, we're going to be strumming from low to high using our thumb. So we're going to go low pitch. So let's say I'll start off with that G chord. So you always want to start off on the root note of the chord. So again, I'm going to start with that E string. That's my G, G note. And I'm going to play three strings down. One, two, three. Now if you notice, I'm skipping that A string. One, two, three. So I'm doing E, D, G. Okay? And the reason I'm skipping that A string is uh, because it gets kind of muddy with that E. So if I'm playing the E string, like if I'm playing the G chord or an E chord or something, and I need to play that E string, if I play the A string also, those two notes kind of muddy each other up and it, it becomes kind of unclear as to what note uh, I'm playing, okay? Um, especially with finger picking patterns, it's really important to hear that root note, okay? 
So mm -hmm. in order to make that root note nice and clear, I'm just going to skip the A string and go to a, a higher pitch, the next higher pitch string, which in this case is going to be the D string, okay? And that's going to make that root note nice and clear. So we have one, two, three, and then for the next half of the pattern, I'm going to start on the highest string, my E string, and I'm going to come down from there. Just straight down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you're playing a chord that doesn't use the E string, like the C add nine, for instance, then we're just going to start on the A string and just go straight down with our thumb. So I'm playing the A string, D string, and G string. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.